Welcome back to Down the River. Today's a great day. So let's do something that uh, I've been itching to do. Let's put the clutch kit on the mud skipper. Let's talk a little bit about the clutch. I got the retriever clutch from mud skipper. Um, I have a mud skipper engine, mud skipper long tail kit. So this should bolt right on into place without much issues. I will be adding a few tools to my toolbox since uh, some of the bolts in here are 14 millimeter most everything else I use on here was 13 millimeter I'll also be adding a very small pry bar and we'll talk about that in a little bit but mud skipper has these uh, these clutches I'm anxious to get on the water and see how it performs on the kit and how much difference there is in operating this long tail so let's jump right into it. Um, I tell my kids that half of life is reading instructions and the other half is following them. So, first time putting it on on the camera here, let's uh, let's do it according to the instructions that are provided with Mud Skipper. So the instructions gives us a parts list and a pretty simple instruction set here with pictures. Pictures are important. I've already dry fit this one time. I know how mine goes on. So let's take you through the beginning and the end of uh, putting the clutch kit on. We're going to start off by disassembling the shaft and PTO housing unit to the back of the motor block we're going to take this all the way down to the engine so in my first video we talked about some shaft maintenance and things like that guys pretty simple to pull these off you loosen up your, your T-bolts here mine are already loose I cheated and we'll twist and pull this shaft out watch your motor because she's going to fall back into the boat Now once that's off, my bolts on here are 13 millimeter. I am 100% cheating today. Using the power tools instead of hand tools. setting all four of these bolts to the side because they are a little bit different. Got my PTO housing off. Set it down out of the way. Got to get the coupler off now. I'm not cleaning all the grease off the coupler because I'm going to use it. We're putting everything right back together with the PTO housing in place. 10 millimeter bolts on top of your coupler here so when your coupler comes off you want to make sure you have your key if the key is left in the motor or if the key's left in the cupboard, don't lose your little key here, okay? We set all those components down to the side. Now what we are going to do is go ahead and clean the shaft off, the bearing. You want to get all the excess grease out of this area. Now, we start assembling the clutch. according to the directions. 
So part C is the back plate of the clutch assembly. And this is your back plate. So it'll go on, mounts up to your existing bolt pattern on the inside bolts. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the 13 millimeter bolts that I took out of the PTO. So the ones I just took out, I'm going to put right back in. It's very important to remember to always thread these in by hand. You don't want to cross thread this into the back of your engine. Skipper sends you uh, various bolts to use in this assembly depending on your specific needs according to the motor that you're running or the kit that you're using. They have standard and metric sizes. Get these all threaded in by hand. A little snug up with the driver there. down by hand. Each one of these should have lock washer on them. So the back plate is on. Let's see what the instructions say. So now it states to place slide spacer I onto protruding engine shaft. I is stated in here by the medium spacer. which would be this one right here. Let's place that onto the shaft. Now, yesterday when I fit this on, I noticed that where my original coupler went in, I had to go in with a file and clean out the keyway. Take those edges off that keyway, smooth it all back down. Cautious not to damage any other components here. I was just retooling the keyway on that shaft there. got our space for I in place. Next we slide on the clutch pad assembly. This is the clutch pad assembly and you're gonna go this is toward the motor and this is toward the propeller and inside of here you have a built-in keyway so align your key up slide that in place. If you got to give it a little love tap to get it in, I suggest you placing the other clutch component on, tapping it right there on the edge. It's not a good firm hit there. So we have this in place now that is attached to the crankshaft of the motor. Our next component is the drum housing assembly. Inside of the drum housing you'll see some bearings. Make sure all that's kept nice and clean. It'll slide right over top of your clutch pad assembly. Once the drum pad assembly on you'll notice that we have free motion. So that's what we're looking for. 
nice, smooth, nothing's grinding, nothing's touching. Check your clearance on the back side, make sure none of your bolts are near any of these components. Once that's on, we place our main housing assembly on. Take a note that there's five holes here. The fifth hole should be top. place in the four bolts that came out of that which are the 14 millimeters Once the main housing is on, we slide on the last spacer, which is the cup one. You want the cup be facing toward the motor and a flat solid part be facing toward your propeller. That's going to give that clutch a little bit of play in and out. And that's it. The clutch is on the motor. Really quick, really easy, guys. Um, this shouldn't take no more than 20 minutes. So we're here, we need to get, now that we have the main housing assembly on, we're going to reassemble this just like it was the back of the motor. So however you took your kit off is how it needs to go back on. For me, I'm going to use my original half key, slides right back into place. Shaft coupler. Right back on. 10 millimeter. Tighten these uh, bolts back up. Now, already we see the clutch doing its thing. She's not going to hold still for you during this. careful not to get any grease or oil inside of that clutch kit got that screw nice and tight get our second one in now my skipper sends you a couple other spacers and uh, bushings things like that it's all going to depend on your particular kit, your motor, it's going to be uh, circumstantial on how this gets set up in this part. So if you've got to use the other spacers or bushings to do that, um, make sure you use the appropriate size bolts, screws that they've provided, the metric or SAE, try not to strip out your, your threads. everything nice and tight down there next up we reinstall our PTO assembly and I'm using the 14 millimeter bolts that were in the main housing to begin with um, I'm using the bolts in place where they were so the original bolts that bolted the housing to the motor, that's what I used to bolt this housing to the motor. These bolts come in the kit in that location, and these bolts come in the kit in this location. So what I added to my kit, my toolbox, I added the 14 millimeter and a small pry bar. Um, screwdriver might would work, but if I've got to pry the coupling or the clutch off, I need something with some leverage. So I added that in there.
so just kind of send them home with the drill I'm not torquing them down with it I'll torque it down by hand use that cross pattern it's like you would a wheel I don't think Mud Skipper has any uh, torque specifications on any of this stuff. Tighten it down, keep a watch on it. So I'll be checking all of this stuff while I'm on the water. Um, make sure nothing's backing out or getting loose. So we've got the clutch system mounted to the motor, the PTO housing mounted to the clutch. And this is looking great so far. So let's get the shaft placed back in and we're done i mean it's, it's, it's just that simple it's not hard to install at all the only thing i tips and tricks wise would be uh have a file on hand in case you've got to shave that crankshaft down from the screws in the coupler so i'll put a link again to uh mud skipper to retriever system there it'll be down below in a video description uh guys this this kit this kit's from me for a couple years now. I've not had any trouble with it at all. Uh, everything I've ever had trouble with has been user here. Let me get that propeller shaft put back in. One of the things I'm looking at noticed this early on is when I was putting this in, I was making sure these paint lines matched up on my shaft. So I know how deep my shaft is engaged with the coupler and PTO housing. So you can see a very defined paint line there. And we want to make sure that goes all the way into the PTO housing. So we're back to the original position. So I know I didn't lose any engagement in this area. Everything should be locked in just like it was before we put the clutch on. We'll go back and ensure that the skag is at a six o'clock position to the motor and boat. And we'll start tightening the T-bolts down to lock everything in place. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the retriever clutch system on the Mud Skipper Longtail. I'm excited to get this in the water and try it out. Uh, hopefully, here in the next couple couple videos, we'll, we'll be some shooting some footage on the water. It uh, I still got to finish up my wiring and modified the boat trailer to accommodate that deck but uh, we're to a point where it's, it's time to get in the water and hopefully start looking at weight distribution prop sizes start getting some more numbers on speed and fuel mileage so appreciate you hanging around and uh see you next time down the river <laughs>